Welcome to the Galaxy Back with more Space Engineers. I have a small little ship here. Even though, uh, to, call, to call it, I suppose it is a ship actually. What am I, what am I, what am I talking about? Um, but I have a small, slightly random thing here. As I was, I had an idea. Now, I mean, now there's a perfectly legitimate uh, use case for a ship like this. I mean, I'll explain what it is in a second. But, you know, if you've got like either a damaged ship or an object in space that's clearly adrift. You know, you can't stop it, it's just going, going, gone, you know, kind of scenario. I mean, we've had that before, we've had, we certainly had the, uh, the unfortunate incidents where something decides to, uh, you know, get pushed out into space and you can't get it back again, uh, essentially, and, and that can be annoying. Now, this is basically a little, uh, just a weird ship to essentially do just that, basically hold on to and slow down any moving objects that are drifting through space. But I had an idea to try and... Not really weaponize it exactly, but but surely you can imagine an, an example where there's, a, there's an enemy ship that you've been following or something. This is assuming you're in like a PvP multiplayer server or something. You've disabled pretty much all of its engines and weapons, but it's still moving. It's still adrift, and you can't stop it. So to, to basically um, try and use one of these, like latch onto it and then slow it down, or uh, by the huge gyro banks you can actually see. There's quite a lot of gyros in, in this ship. Uh, but what if the ship is fleeing? It's, you've destroyed its weapons, but it's clearly still flying uh, away at great speed. Well, even if one of the one ship couldn't slow a big ship down, uh, but also with the gyroscopic bank, you could also uh, use it as like a resistor, which is actually its name, the resistor, as it, <laughs> to resist movements in this case, to you know use gy gyroscopic override to slow the ship down and well restrict its turning ability and if you get like half a dozen of these you know they, these things all clamp onto a hull of a ship it will probably do a f it'll slow it right down you know just basically be a, a sl like a I mean we don't have tractor beams I would love I mean I think there is actually a tractor beam mod but it's not all that uh, powerful to be honest but then you know what it, but then uh, what is it? Uh, like tow cables. I would love to see like a cable mod, if you know what I mean. Because like I would like the idea of just you know maybe even like I don't know. You had like a a uh, hover craft ship helicopter uh, type thing. You could use like a a tow hook or something and latch onto like a, a vehicle that's stuck in a ditch and you know lift it out or something. Or in space, you could grapple on to a uh, a ship that's moving. In. I mean, if you're wondering, there is actually a large uh, ship there which I've just currently set adrift. Uh, sort of in this direction, and I'll just show you. Uh, actually, I've yet, to, I've yet to actually test this ship actually in its intended task, but uh, I set I set the borehole mole um, on a present course. But you know, it would be there's both where you know you can you can find uses for ships like this possibly. Uh, but you know, I think I think like uh, some kind of cable mod would be interesting, like or like ch like a chain mod or something. Like we can make you can make chains in this game, but that you know just <laughs> they'll they'll just explode and break. They, it just doesn't really work. And as much as I would love to see them working, but they they just don't, and it's a bit of a shame. Um, but one thing, uh, one thing before I actually fly the ship over there and test it, because there's not too much to say about this particular ship. Actually, I'll, I may as well get in, get inside it. You sort of uh, access it from here. And yeah, the cockpit's pretty pretty buried at the back here, but uh, we actually have a camera at the front to uh, look at your intended target, which if I actually have a look, can I even see the ship? It's flying, but it's not in uh, load di uh, distance yet. And at this point I have the main the main gyroscopic bank, uh, our number two, which you, as you can tell, the camera now <laughs> is very, very twitchy. Uh, and then uh, number three is the override, and now I can't move, which the intention would be obviously to slow down a moving ship if it's trying to turn, or do if it, or if maybe said ship uh, that you're flying, you're trying to latch onto, could be spinning, could be you know completely out of control, you know what I mean? So that's uh, that's that. But uh, but actually, you know, let's um, let's at least start uh, start moving here. As you'd expect, a ship like this does have quite a bit of thrust uh, thrust, so this thing does. Uh, it does have a fair bit of movement uh, to it, but one ship I'm thinking of making. I'm not sure how practical this will be because I'm gonna have to use a f I'm gonna have to use a couple mods uh, for this, uh, especially um, especially like a shield mod or something to prevent self damage. But you like you know the uh, in Star Wars, right? The the boarding ships that the uh, the droids used to use, uh, the ones that essentially look like giant nails. You know what I mean? They rather got like a, fl like a flat top with a big spike on it, and essentially, yeah, they just ram themselves into a ship, going right through the hull, and well, the center spike is hollow enough to allow uh, 
uh, allow droids to um, essentially board uh, whatever ship that uh, they need to board. You know what I mean? Like a, a ship like that, I I'm not sure how it would work because the problem the problem is with engineers actually um, you would you would need a, a rather large hollow spike um, because you got if you if you're thinking about you know a player or players if you could maybe fit multiple people in this sort of landing craft would have to go through there. Uh, so be able to walk through it, but at the same time, a large spike w creates a lot of resistance, especially if you're trying to essentially impale the ship uh, into a larger object. Um, but I mean, I could try it. I mean, I th then again, I, I don't actually have any uh, big ships I could even try uh, such a tactic on. But yeah, I mean, basically, it'd be a flying hollow nail, uh, essentially here. And, and, and I think I probably set this ship. Um, on a little bit too fast of a trajectory, you can actually now see it flying uh, at a pretty much a 90 degree angle to myself here. And uh, thank God I have the uh, the speed uh, one of the many uh, light speed mods uh, to allow me to catch up with this damn thing. And good thing the ship can also decelerate. So apologies for the catch up here, but but no, like some kind of boarding ship. Let's basically like that. Actually, at this point, has anyone else um, even made such a uh, such a ship? Because uh, I mean, as far as ships are concerned for boarding, you just need a lot of. Uh, personal space to, um, you know, for people to uh, essentially sit in um, and you can just fly into uh, said ship there. Right, so I'll turn on the lights but as you can see, actually I have time to turn off jar um, dampeners here, but yeah, it, it, if you've never done if you've never f um, done this before, it's not actually that difficult. You just have to be able to uh, fly a ship without uh, dampeners on. So even though this ship's not spinning, it's not actively trying to evade me either. And even though this the ship's actually almost almost vanilla, I think. I'm using Azimuth thrusters, yes. Um, but in this instance I am also using the small landing gears mod, so there is uh, a couple mods being used, but the but the rest of the ship is vanilla, so I think I have the auto um, lock enabled on these things, so if I can get my angle right. I should just be able to there we go, just slam onto the ship. I think I actually broke a landing gear, um, but we can enable, uh, not that, we can enable dampeners, which I think I've already done, and uh, yep, I really cannot, why can I not get the camera to go any closer, but the ship is now attempting to resist motion. I could even turn on the gyroscopic resistors, which, uh, let's, actually, let's actually get out, uh, and I can show you here. So, uh, apparently this ship was actually going sideways. Uh, slightly here, but uh, this is probably why I need a shield mod because, as you can kind of see, um, the impact has destroyed one of the uh, one of the landing gear. I suppose it's the disadvantage of uh, trying to stop something really quickly, or uh, not stop something, uh, attach really quickly. So if I fly into here, uh, we do have gravity in this ship. Now let's see if I, let's try and okay. So because this ship is so big, I am definitely still able to maneuver myself. Uh, maneuver this ship, but then I sp this is a case of large ship gyroscopes uh, versus small ones. Uh, looks like I have about uh, what nine, uh, nine on this ship. So you know, if we if we had multiple of these resistors, you you could severely hamper a large ship's um, you know turning performance if you had enough of these things actually stuck on the ship and uh, you know doing the job of basically resisting. Although I actually blame the this particular ship's uh, turning ability is really but really crap, but that's because I think probably the um, the borehole was just really it's just a big ship, you know what I mean? Uh, and well, if I decide to spin it, pretty much do a barrel roll, as it were, then well, yeah, it's it's a very narrow ship. Of course, it could do a barrel roll. Um, but I think you get the point here. I I'm, I'm seem to be losing my train of thought, but uh, it was just it was just a bit of a, a little bit of a random idea. Just why why not why not have a, a f probably like half a dozen of these ships that essentially resist a fleeing ship or you know in a less militarized sense these things could like i said could also uh capture any um, runaway uh ships or objects although i would probably if i was to do that i would probably not have the landing gear on such a uh, a wide uh you know not so far apart because this, this this ship's more designed to cling on to big ships you see and uh, yeah, probably a little bit more thrust, I suppose, in hindsight. But it, it, it does the job. It's it's not terrible. I mean, it is still slowing it down. I mean, at what speed are we going at? So I was at 100 meters per second, as you can kind of see by the deceleration. It is slowing this thing down relatively quickly, considering the size of this ship. Um, so you know, obviously results would vary. But um, as far as uh, yes, like I said, as far as the next ship, I might end up making. But you know. Some kind of like big nails in like uh, boarding ship, you know, from uh, from Star Wars. Not an exact uh, copy, but 
it would be kind of interesting to see how it would work as well. And and this is like I said, I need I need to really use um, shields, so I, it would have to be a modded creation to do that. Uh, but you know, mods do help in that regard. And actually, I think I said this before. Uh, just one last thing before I go. Um, I think I said this before when I compared the energy shields versus deflector shields. But because energy shields are all a uh, shields that essentially just protect blocks themselves they don't it doesn't create a bubble like deflector shields do uh energy shields will actually be the only option uh for any kind of ramming ship any ship that requires essentially forceful contact uh with another ship you kind of need to use energy shields because like i said the shields they just strengthen the blocks of a ship it's not like a deflector field you know what i mean so that would be an advantage there and it looks like we are slowing right down and <laughs> i'm surprised actually it's slowing so slowly that uh wait hang, hang on are we actually st are we actually still moving we don't we can't seem to stop entirely hang on let's uh, detach and then reattach okay good enough um but yeah I, i'm just i'm just rambling on if you want if you have any um, other interesting ship creation ideas then uh let me know in the comments and uh and yeah, I think I'll probably definitely make that boarding ship at, sp at some point. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, link to my Discord if you want to say hi to me. It's in the description as always. And uh, yeah, I really should probably uh, work on uh, keeping on track a little bit more. Um, I'm, I'm rambling again. I don't know. Life, life, life has driven me insane. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.